Hello everyone, this is your Arun Goel and today I am back with another series of lectures. So I have seen people finding it really hard to solve palindrome partitioning problems uh, which are basically solved by DP. So in this uh, coming 3-4 lectures, uh, we will be discussing all the palindrome partitioning problems which are again the hardest problems of lead code. Today I will be discussing this palindrome partitioning 2 which is problem number 132 of lead code. Uh, let's read the question first. Given a string S, partition S such that each and every substring of the partition is a palindrome and we need to return the minimum number of cuts that are needed for the palindrome partitioning. Uh, let's take this example uh, AAB. Okay. AAB. This is a string and I need to make cuts such that each and every substring is a palindrome. So suppose I make a cut here. First cut. So A is a palindrome, but A B is not. So I need again need to make more cuts in this. Uh, so this is the only cut which is possible. So there will be three different substrings, which means there will be two cuts. But there's one more way. If I make a cut here, then A A is also a palindrome and B is also a palindrome. So this substring and this substring both are palindromes. So the minimum number of cuts that could be added is one. Let's take one another example. Suppose the string is AAA. So uh, this string is itself a palindrome. So no cuts is actually required. So the answer is zero. So uh, I hope you have got this question. Uh, you understood the question. Now let's move to the algorithm. But before moving directly to the algorithm, I would love to request people to pause this video and think of any of the solutions. Um, beat brute force by recursion by dp just give it a thought pause this video for once and give it a thought okay i hope you people have thought this so let's move to the question how how we'll solve this okay first of all if the string is suppose a a b suppose this is the string so i can make uh, let's take a bigger string, not A, A, B, A, C, D. Suppose this is a string, okay? And uh, so I need to find that, you know, how many cuts are there. So what would be the brute force approach? The brute force approach would be um, take, uh, make any one cut from the beginning, uh, beat here, beat here, beat here, and find the number of cuts in the remaining substring to make that substring palindrome. Suppose I make a cut here. So I need to find uh, how many minimum number of cuts do I need to make in ACD so that uh, and AAB also so that this substring and this substring is a palindrome. I can make a cut here as well. Uh, so in that case, I'll find this substring and this substring. I'll need to find. So basically, my answer would be uh, cuts in substring 1 plus substring 2 plus 1 cool. right so how could how can we use recursion in this how can we use recursion so suppose this is the string right a a b a c d hmm. and i make a cut here Okay, then it decided and pass it on to the recursion, this whole substring. Then this substring decide to make a cut here. So this substring would be calculated. The number of cuts in this substring would be calculated. Take another case. Take another case. A, A, B, A, C, D. Take another case. In the second iteration, I will make a cut here. So this substring would be passed in the recursion and this substring will again make a cut here. So we can see that ACD, ACD, the number of cuts here and here are calculated more than once. So uh, we can save the time here. Why to calculate it again and again? Right? Why to calculate it again and again? When we can save the answer, we, we can save the answer and we can save a lot of time. So we'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. So I, I think we have got the approach, right? We have got the approach. So suppose I maintain an array 
I'll maintain an array which will contain the number of cuts in the remaining substring. So uh, for this index, for this index, which is one, two, three, which is at the third index, I'll maintain how many number of minimum number of cuts are required to make ACD a palindrome. Uh, ACD, uh, um, you know, partitioning ACD so that each and every substring is palindrome. For index number two, I'll store how many minimum, minimum number of cuts are required for making each and every substring of BACD a palindrome. Cool. Uh, I guess we should dry run uh, one of the example, right? Because when I am A, A, B, A, C, D, suppose I'm working for this and assume that my array is filled with for these three integers. My array is filled for these three indexes. So what are the what all are the possibilities? What all are the possibilities? So suppose I start from this index only. Uh, my start is this and my end will move from this index to this index. So in the first iteration, I check whether uh, the, whether my substring from starting to ending is a palindrome or not. If it's a palindrome, then in this case it is because B is a palindrome. So I just need to find how many cuts are required in ACD, which is obviously stored at this index. Then I can shift my end by one, which will this in the next iteration. I can check whether B is a palindrome or not. No, it's not a palindrome. So there's no point partitioning at this. Now I'll again move my index to C. BAC is obviously not the palindrome. So there is again no point partitioning here. BACD. BACD is also not a palindrome. So there is no point partitioning here. Okay. So what would be my minimum answer? My minimum answer for this index would be partitioning here plus minimum number of cuts required in ACD. Right. Uh, suppose I'm working for this index. Again, my start would be here. My ending would be here. I'll move my end by one from this index till this index. I can make a cut here and I can find uh, with the number of minimum number of cuts required to make this into palindromes, uh, which is obviously stored at this index. Then I can decide to make a cut here, which will again. So you can see it divided. Uh, it in, it basically decreased the number of cuts. Cool. So there will be lesser answer, uh, lesser number of cuts required in each and every iteration. Uh, so I guess you must have been clear with this algorithm. Um, uh, we can move to its dry run, obviously. So let's start from the last index at D. If this is the only sub array, um, the number of cuts required are obviously zero. Now let's move to this index, which is CD. So in the first iteration, I'll make a cut here. So making one cut is one plus the number of cuts required in the left sub, uh, which is D is zero. So the answer would be one initially in the first iteration, but, um, Again, in the next iteration, my end would be here. CD is not a palindrome. So one is the answer for this substring for CD. Now ACD, let's move to ACD. My first cut would be here. My second cut would be here. My third cut would be here for the first cut. Um, my answer would be one. I am making one cut and for the rest is one. So the number of cuts would be two. If I make a cut here, I need to first check that whether AC is a palindrome or not. It is not a palindrome. So we can't make a cut here. Now I make a cut here and check whether this is a palindrome or not. ACD is again not a palindrome. So two cuts are required. Now let's move to BACD. Okay. I make a first cut here. Check whether this is a palindrome. Of course, this is a palindrome. So the number of cuts required in ACD is two. So the number of cuts till now is three uh, my end would move by one index which is this we'll check whether b is a palindrome no it's not a palindrome so i'll move by one bac is a palindrome no 
BACD is a palindrome? No. So now let's work for this index. I'll partition here first. A is a palindrome. So the number of minimum cuts required for BACD is 3. So the answer would be 4. I'll check for my end would move by 1, which is AB. AB is not a palindrome. ABA. Now ABA is a palindrome. So I can make a cut here and how many cuts are required in CD? One cut is required. So clearly the answer is 2 for this index. 2. Now ABAC is not a palindrome. ABACD is again not a palindrome. So best possible answer for this index is 2. Similarly, we can do for this also, this index also. And what would be my answer? My answer would be suppose this array is ARR. So it would be ARR of 0 because I need to find how many minimum cuts are required from this index, 0th index. I hope you have got this algorithm and dry run. So I think we should move to the code. Let me explain you the code. Yes. Okay, cool. So this is basically uh, the function how, how we can check whether a string is palindrome or not between any two given indexes. Okay, um, this is a very small video. Do not get this. I, I have mentioned a link in the description. You can watch that video too far to check if the given string is a palindrome or not. Cool. I am maintaining a DP array. This is my initialization. I am initially in initializing uh, each and every index with int max uh, because definitely the answer would be smaller than int, int max. You can initialize it with minus one also. Okay. For my last index, my last index, answer will obviously be zero because this is, this is a single element. If you remember, uh, just now we did an example A, B, A, C, D. So if this is the only substring, substring of length one, string of length one, answer would always be zero. Okay. And if I have a empty substring, empty string, my answer is also zero. So I've made uh, basically um, one size greater than the size of string. My DP array is one size greater than the size of string. So if the string is empty, then also my answer would be zero. Cool. So I've started with uh, my loop has started with second last index, which is here. And it is moving. I've taken a second pointer which is basically end pointer denoted by J, which is going from ith index till the end. So every time I am checking if first, uh, if the given substring is a palindrome, it means I can make a break here. I can cut here. So every time uh, it is important to check. Now, second important check. If suppose this is the string and I'm working for this index. I make a cut here. So how many minimum cuts are required? Basically, this is no cut. This is zero cut because it is outside the string. So the answer is obviously zero because it, this complete string is a palindrome. So this is what I'm checking. If J is equal to equal to my last index and my string is a palindrome. So basically no cuts are required. So this is what I've done that it would be straight away zero. Otherwise, it would be one because I'm making a cut here making a cut and plus suppose I'm working for this index and I'm making a cut here. So this would be J plus one index because this is I, this is J, this is J plus first index. So ARR of J plus one and straight away we can change the answer because if this is the, this is minimum or this is lesser than the current stored answer, we can shift the answer. And at last I have returned my answer. So I hope you have got this video. Uh, I would like to request everyone to try this problem for once. And if you have any kind of doubts, you can ask me in the comment section below. I, I would be really happy to answer them. So thank you so much. Uh, if you like the video, you can hit the like button and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.